What is up, my little goobers? It's your girl, Electric Goob, coming at you with something really different. It's a speed paint. I am currently painting. It's an interesting painting, to say the least. I'm kind of excited. The prompt um, for this painting was, I can't sell you that, ma'am. I'm drawing a picture of a shop where the shopkeeper is like, sorry, sweetheart, I can't sell you that. <laughs> Anyway, so while I am drawing, um, I have like three, two pieces of paper and a notebook of just talking points. So I'm going to just be talking at you for a little bit. Shorts under pants. I wear shorts under my pants. <laughs> it makes taking them off so much easier. Actually, back in college, um, I used to wear shorts under my pants so often that when I got back to the dorms, I would just literally throw off my pants and shout, no pants is good pants, and throw people off really bad. Um, it actually got to the point where my best friend, uh, Becky, her brother the other day took off his pants and he was wearing shorts underneath and he's like, I'm surprised you weren't more responsive to that. And she was just like, eh, Goob does it all the time. <laughs> it's like, I do, I just do. Does anybody else break into song quotes, songs and quotes, just randomly? So you just kind of break into song at random moments. Like, honestly, if you say something, I will be able to turn it into a song lyric. I can't do it now, of course, because I'm not talking to anybody. But if you're talking to me, I will most likely be able to either quote a movie or a TV show or just flat out break into song. It's so funny. Anyway, have you ever accidentally Dutch ovened yourself? For those of you who don't know what a Dutch oven is, it's where you're laying in bed. Sometimes you're like laying in bed with your sibling or your significant other or whatever, and you fart under the blankets, and then you force whoever else is in bed with you to go under the blankets so they have to smell your fart. And have you ever accidentally done that to yourself, where you're just you know, let one rip and then you pull your blankets over yourself and you're like, oh, I made a mistake. Ugh. I've done that. Does anybody else give themselves a pep talk while they're driving? I'm going to start all of these with does anybody else. I start a pep talk with myself while I'm driving like, okay, you can do this. You can drive the car. You can get to wherever you're going. Like, maybe I'm going for a job interview or something and I'm just like, you got this. You got this, Goob. Just... Just be your, no, don't be yourself. Yourself is stupid. Be a better version of yourself. I'm like, yes, I can do it. I'm great. I always make the same face as whatever it is that I'm drawing. So the little, you know, creature that is in this picture, I have made every single face of every single creature in this picture. Like, yeah, dead blank stare, utter rage. Yeah, I make the face while I draw it. While I'm sitting, I have a tendency to kind of stare off into space, and usually about that time I realize I'm staring in a very wrong place, and I'm not talking like I'm staring into somebody's eyes and it's all awkward. No, I mean like I am staring in the wrong place, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do that, and then I feel bad. <laughs> Um, I verbally react to TV shows and movies. Uh, it's actually, it's so bad that I really can't go to a movie theater because I 100% verbally react to movies. Um, me and my friend, Becky, of course, we went to go see The Crimes of Grindelwald and we had to sit in the back because I react verbally to everything. Like, even if you were listening to me while I was drawing these pictures, uh, you would hear me absolutely freaking out whenever I do something stupid or anything like that. And I tried to actually write down when I was actually doing some sort of a verbal response, like, <laughs> I do that a lot. Rip headphone users. I always sit on the floor. Like, you could have 50 chairs in the room. I'm going to sit on the floor, no matter what. It's kind of, I don't know, I guess it's frustrating to other people, 
but I'm just like, eh, floor. I can lay down, I can sit up, I can lounge, whatever. Floor. Floor is good. I like sitting on the floor. I think it's more fun. Did you know that way back when the whole point of having undergarments was in order to wear clothes for longer? So, you know, you have your underwear and your bra and whatever, and then you have your cami, and if you're weird like me, you have shorts. So you could technically wear your clothes for two plus days. Layers. Layer up, everybody. Is good stuff. Right under this, I have two different spellings for avocado. I have A-H-V-A-C-A-W-D-O-U-G-H. Avocado. <laughs> and under that, I have A-W-V-A-C-A-W-D-O-U-G-H. Avocado. I kind of hate that. <laughs> Random thoughts, random thoughts. What do ghosts and demons do when no one is in their technical zone? Do they follow people out of it? What was the reaction of the first person to see an optical illusion? European and Middle Eastern countries are a lot smaller than people in America think. Why has there been an increase of people who are social creatures who want to avoid people and become hermits? And how do I become one? Potatoes are perfect. Why do my joints pop so much? Let's see if I can get... Yeah! Popping. Ooh! I don't know if you heard that, but that was, like, most of my back. I know why my joints pop so much. It's because I pop them so often. I'm a terrible person. When you get deodorant on your clothes, like on your shirt or your little black dress or whatever, did you know that if you rub your clothes together, the deodorant will come off? Next page, random thoughts. Have you ever been sitting for a long time and made eye contact two or more times with the same person and just go, no, I hope you don't consider that an invitation to talk to me. I have. Do other people sit on their bedroom floor at midnight with a bag of cheese puffs and scroll through Facebook? Just me? I don't remember doing that. My favorite foods, potatoes. My least favorite foods, fish. Favorite color, blue. Least favorite color. Booger or puke green. Favorite shape, star. Least favorite shape, a bunch of triangles. <laughs> ha. My favorite animal is a wolf. My least favorite animal is the spider. My favorite season is tornado season. <laughs> um, it's also, it's, it's funny because my other favorite season is fall. My least favorite season is winter because I hate being cold. Um, when it comes to coloring, my favorite way to color things in is by paint. My least favorite is using markers. Uh, for sketching, I really, really, really like sketching with a pen. Um, I don't know why. Because, you know, you can't erase anything. And again, my least favorite thing to use for sketching is markers. I <laughs> yeah. My favorite romantic comedy type movie would be The Princess Bride, or there's another movie, I want to say it's The Runaway Bride, it's, it's David Tennant and the lady who voiced Merida in Brave, and it's one of those fake marriage situations, and it's so cute and so funny, and I love it to death. Um, my least favorite romantic comedy is The Notebook, and I could go on forever and ever on why I think that What's-His-Face was a terrible. Ma well, no, they're terrible people, and they can both just be terrible together. I don't care. I feel bad for the gal, the guy that the bride left after agreeing to marry him, all to go hook back up with. What, who was that? Channing Tatum? Is that who played? I don't know. The Notebook's version of Ross Geller. Anyway. Favorite Disney movie? Yes. Um, my favorite talking topic is um, different lore. Uh, like the lore for video games, the lore of books. I like looking into the the history of various things. I think that's so much fun. And like, I can talk forever about the, the lore behind, you know, the Five Nights at Freddy's and all of that jazz. Um, but my least favorite talking topic is just 
flat out being talked at. Like, they're just explaining everything to me like I'm stupid. So it's like, no, go away. I hate you. Um, favorite general genre? Romantic comedies. Love them. I love love and I love laughter. So live, laugh, love is like, unfortunately, the thing that I go by. Anyway, my least favorite genre is sci-fi. I am not a fan of science fiction in almost any way, shape, or form. Next page. My flat out favorite, um, Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, is that my favorite book or my favorite Studio Ghibli movie? Uh, yes, both and. I actually just finished listening to um, Howl's Moving Castle in the audiobook version, and ho oh, oh, ho oh, I love, love all of the characters in the book, and all of the hijinks that happen and the probably one of my favorite scenes apart from the final confrontation with the witch of the waste would have to be um when sophie and michael use the growing magic on howl's coat suit thing and he just comes down after putting it on he's like sophie and he drags the entire dang coat into the bathroom. And it takes a long time for the coat to... It's it's one of those things where um, it was written so well that it's just so comedic listening to it and reading it. I mean, I, I feel like writing comedy is a lot harder than showing it on TV. And yeah. So my favorite TV show, or at least cartoon series, would have to be Gravity Falls by far. Um, I appreciate how short it was, um, but they still wrote such a good story with it. My favorite book series is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss. Love it. So good. Favorite Marvel hero, Spider-Man. Specifically Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Um, I feel like he, he is the closest to being a teen hero, even though he's definitely not an actual teen. He's the closest that any other actor Spider-Man has ever been. So he's, he's my favorite. Yeah. Favorite video game series, <clears throat> Legend of Zelda. I love that series. Um, favorite YouTuber? Uh, anything by Game Theory. Matt, Pat, and Steph, and their whole team. They, they make me laugh, and they make me smarter, so I super duper appreciate them, and I love um, watching their videos. And it kind of goes with how much I love talking... Ugh, it's choking on air. It kind of goes with how much I love talking about lore, and the lore of things, because they they basically, you know, they they play into all of my <laughs> my interests and things that I like to talk about. So it's it's super fun watching their videos and hearing their theories. And I also really enjoy Treesicle. Um, I enjoy watching their stuff too, especially when they contradict game theory, um. Because that, that helps make you think even more whether or not they're right or they're wrong. I don't care. They're both fabulous and I love them. Uh, my favorite subject in school. History. Wow, what a shock. <laughs> favorite type of car? Buicks. Um, yeah, that's the first car I ever had and first car I ever wrecked multiple times. So, yeah, that there's, yeah. There's a history to that one, but which I may do a story about that later. Um, so yeah, that was just random thoughts, my favorites and least favorites. So yeah, that's all for now. If you like this video, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. We don't have a rate system anymore. That doesn't exist. That hasn't been here for about a decade. The heck, Goob? The heck? Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you comment and subscribe, like the video, you know, help me out with that algorithm and whatnot. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one. I have another speed paint coming out pretty soon too where I don't know I'm probably going to be talking about getting jobs and resumes and a little bit on my work history so keep an eye out there for more fun stuff I post dumb stuff everywhere because I'm dumb okay that's it for now goober out